It's SEC baseball today from Palm Walker Stadium in Fayetteville, Arkansas. The Auburn Tigers and second-ranked Arkansas Razorbacks meet in the finale of a three-game set, and the series win is up for grabs. Today, Lyle Lockhart is back on the hill. Yeah, Arkansas is probably the most consistent starter this season. Brad transfer out of Houston. A guy that really knows how to pitch, works that ball in and out. Brad. And Bliss tomahawks a pitch past battles, and Bliss just keeps on hitting. Lockhart made a couple of two-strike pitches in that sequence that looked pretty good, and that time runs in three and a third innings. This one's hit well to right. Back goes Wallace, looks up, that thing is gone. For the third straight game, the Auburn Tigers strike first. Yeah, no doubter by Judd Ward. That thing was absolutely juiced. Wind or no wind, that thing, nothing was keeping that ball in the park. Softly hit to the left side, see if he can beat this out. Woolley pops up nicely, and Miller kept his foot on the bat. That's a nice play by Woolley. Necessarily a bunt, just a kind of a check swing roller. Wallace is going to K to end the I inning. I you to really be scuffling like they, the way they are. That's in. So Bliss will walk. Two strike pitch, grounded a second. Can Arkansas get two? There's one. Moore's relay, double play. Hawks turn it over to win the third inning. Maybe that was the one seamer, Troy. And that's ball four. This last two really did not no, finish that, that far out. Especially that. that. This weekend. Let's see if Franklin could find a way to tie things up. What he's been doing, though, is hitting the ball on the ground, and the Tigers have been turning double plays like clockwork. There's another. This Auburn team has really pitched them well. And there is a walk, so that is the third Razorback base runner. All on walks are hit by pitch. Might have gone dead center. Dribbles one to the left side. Fielded by Bliss, throws to second, safe. And the Hogs didn't exactly club that one. They have a couple of runners on base. Arkansas has been pounding balls into the ground for double plays. Is that another one? My goodness, on cue, there it is. But that was a great job by Moore to take a hit away from Opitz. Foot. And a wave and a miss. Hard to believe, though, that's the first strikeout for Lockhart. And that is a walk. And that is just the second walk issued last week. Bliss is off and running. Opitz loves to throw guys out. That throw a little bit wide, and that was a great job by Moore just to come up yep. with that. Backlogged in pitching. You're no longer. Oh, my goodness. That one just got away from Opitz. It's a free base for Bliss, who does end up a third. A little more here. He'll take ball four. So Lockhart, after he fell behind, didn't yeah, come up. Dave Van Horn makes this move to Caden Monk because he's got a little bit better swing and miss stuff than Lockhart does. Pretty well on Friday. And Smith clubs one into the gap, right center field, back to the wall. That's gone. Tyler Miller with the three run homer on the first pitch from Monk. And a huge blow for the Auburn Tigers. There's a free base run. I mean, the move. That wasn't close. Two free base runners to begin the sixth. Momentum in. going. And he gets one. Base it in the center. Moore's going to round third. Here's the throw to the plate. It's online, but it was knocked down by Gonzalez. I'm not sure why he cut that ball. Well, I'm not sure why he was even in that position. His position. Hurry, and he makes a really strong throw, but Gonzalez, you see him kind of trotting back there, and he's like, okay, well, I'll just try to cut that thing. And you can see the catcher's reaction, LaRue going, man, what are you, what are you doing? Yeah. Wallace rips one into the left for a base hit. Franklin got a late break, but he's going to be waved in. Ward's got a tremendous arm, but his throw is late, and the Hawks have scored two, and there's still nobody out. to miss. So Skipper able to get three straight outs. The Hawks do not add but the two runs. Fan base, probably the largest crowd again today. And there's Gregory doing what he does, getting on base. Getting hit by pitches. Yeah, hit by pitches. I think that's the seventh time that you throw it away. Dribbler to third, but Woolley stumbled. Able to regain his footing, and then he threw one by Miller. And on his way to third is Gregory. What a bizarre play. Woolley fell down with the spin, bringing that ball back. And then he got up, but his throw was wide. Another payoff. 
on the ground to shore. Fielded by Velez, a chance to get two. There's one, another double play. That is six in the series for the Tigers. Wow, that's just outstanding defense by the Tigers. Bliss flashing some leather. That's a bullet hit by Franklin. He spins all the way around. Easy turn for Moore. Kashi's going to sit that fastball 91 to 94, maybe even hit touch 95. His best pitch is a really good straight chain. He's like one on four with the basketball, and he'll still score. And score. Nate LaRue flies one out to shallow right. This is not an easy play, and Robert Moore drifting. Making the catch, so Kostri has retired all four that he's starting this series on a Thursday. He likes to tomahawk those ground balls too. That's the battles. His throw is true. Two, out. Two quick strikes on Ward, and Kostri will get the wave of the miss. There's that nasty pitch, and the inning ends, and the Tigers go down in order. Hawks still down. The Tigers at the difference. Close. That was really close. Ball four. Locked in for Wallace. Soft flare, does it beat the shift? It does. It carries over the head of Moore. Goodhart with a big turn, trying to induce a throw. He doesn't get one. Cade Wallace has his second hit, another single, but the Hogs have their first two runners in. Base hit left field. Goodhart will be held at third. Hogs go station to station. They have them loaded with nobody out. Breaking ball is chopped towards second. A chance for another double play, the seventh in the series. Wow, you talk about a deflating play even when you score a run. And he will. And he'll also come to the plate representing the go-ahead run despite the double play. The straight and missed. Ball eight. And the bases are loaded for Zach Weger. Two outs, the payoff pitch, ball four. And it's a one-run game. And Gregory does it again, finding a way to get on base. Three straight walks into the Tigers stay with Barnett. The runners take it off again on the payoff pitch, and there's a chop at a first right to Miller. That'll end the inning. And the Hogs leave them loaded. So they get a couple of runs, but Auburn maintains the lead. Cops out there for the third straight game. He was a little surprised by Cops showing this appearance right now. It might let him go just this inning, but if, if our players. Soft little flare to right, dropping base hit by Woolley. Only because he doesn't seem to be catching anybody by surprise. Nesbitt slips, still gets the out at first. What is it about the race the over man? cutter? There it is. Wait for the miss. And the inning again. So Kevin Cops so good over the course of two days. Doesn't want to walk Goodhart, and he just did. There's the potential tying run on base, and it does also bring the winning run in the country. And he smokes one in the gap to left center field. This ball's down. It's cut off near the warning track. Webb's going to go to third as the throw loops into second, and the Hawks have him on the corner. And a good job by Howe just to cut that ball off. Taking two of three. Breaking ball again. Hammered to right. This is going to be caught. This is going to tie the game as Webb comes home. And we're even with five. And the one out walk is cashed in for a run. And in fact, today, Troy. Nesbitt lifting one to right center. This should be caught and will, and the Hogs get a run, but they leave a pair, and we're going to extra innings. All tied at five, the Tigers and the Hogs. And it's Jackson Wiggins who comes on to pitch. Here's what the Hogs have done this year at extra innings. Just can't find the zone. That's ball four. Swinging away is where? It's up there a long ways for Wallace. One out. The tenth inning. Another one that's hit straight up the chute. Christian Franklin out in center. Will record the second out. Bliss. Might get himself another fly ball. This is not an easy play, though. Who wants it? It's Robert Moore making the catch to end the tenth. Hawks are going to send up battles. Gregory and Moore. That one is fair, and it's down the line and right. Chasing is Williams. Gregory has two. That ball's played back in nicely by Williams to keep 
Gregory from getting a triple. How about some of the hits from Gregory? The pinch hit triple last night and a double to begin the 10th inning. And the Tigers will go ahead and put him on. And they'll also test out this wrist of Christian. Auburn outfield playing about four or five steps more shallow than normal. Chopper down the third baseline. That ball is fair. And the Hawks are going to win it. Gregory comes racing home. The celebration begins. And from five down, the Hawks score back and win in extras. The Heart Attack Hawks do it again, and they take the series. Well, that wrist held up for Christian Franklin, hit a bullet past the diving Woolley, and I'll tell you what, you can see the emotion out of these kids, and what a big win it, what win it was for Arkansas and Auburn. Man, they really put up a great fight this weekend. Auburn wins the opener. The Hawks down four runs yesterday. They come back to win. Down five runs today. They score the last six to walk it off. Just a great swing right there by Christian Franklin. Just out of the reach of Wally. I'm surprised he wasn't guarding the line, maybe. Here in the 10th inning, Nate Thompson celebrates. Zach Gregory scores, and the chase is on. Don't hurt him. <laughs> Christian Franklin 